Africa is the oldest humanity. That means that we have thousand times more variation in African genomic data than in the older population, the youngest population. There will not be a good understanding of human genome without African genome. African populations have been overlooked in the drive for precision medicine. Most genomic research has been undertaken in other populations, specifically European populations. The effects of sequencing technologies becoming more accessible to African scientists is leading to a drive for more precision medicine within Africa. Programs like Asia Africa are really helping to bring genomics to Africa. The Human Hereditary and Health in Africa initiative, also known as H3 Africa, came about from the African Society for Human Genetics and is funded by the National Institutes of Health and the Wellcome Trust. The broader goal is to improve the health of African patients. To do that, one had to improve the research infrastructure so that the, the researchers, African scientists, had the capacity to do this large-scale genomics research. When they developed the white paper for Extra Africa, there was a need for a robust bioinformatics network to underpin the consortium, to manage the data, and to make sure that the data was going to be properly analysed and interpreted. We had an informal bioinformatics network through conferences that we've run every two years through the African Society for Bioinformatics and Computational Biology. When the Extra Africa call came about, we were perfectly placed to, to address the call and to be able to implement this network. HE Bionet comprises of 28 nodes in 17 African countries and one US partner. The personnel in HE Bionet range from master students all the way up to professor level. We have expertise in various areas ranging from systems biology to bioinformatics to GWAS to microbiome to structural biology. In order to, to do a lot of big genomic studies, you either need to do whole genome sequencing or you need to do genotyping bioarrays. Genotyping bioarrays is still cheaper than whole genome sequencing and the data is much smaller and easier to manage. We started looking at which arrays existed and, and we found that most of them were actually designed for non-African populations. Because we all came from Africa, African genomes have had a lot more time to evolve. So the diversity is bigger and the haplobloks are much shorter in African populations. So we decided to design a new array for the Asia Africa Consortium and H3 Abinet was uh, tasked to do this. We developed the chip by first gathering whole genome sequence data of African genomes. We then developed a next generation sequencing pipeline to process the data. And after that, we went into the process of selecting the content of the array. The H3 Africa array which has more than 2 million genetic markers which cover the entire African genome. The array will improve the quality of the outputs because it has a lot of ancestry informative markers which helps us resolve the African subpopulations. This in turn helps with genome-wide association studies. The chip has been manufactured for consortium use in the first instance. Already we've seen at least 15 to 20,000 samples being run on the chip. Illumina is very happy with the quality of the data. Our great aim is to empower African scientists to analyse African data in Africa. We need to train bioinformaticians to be able to um, analyse data as bioinformaticians. And then we also need to train scientists to know how to analyse and interpret their data. H2A Bionet offers data management and analysis training in a range of ways. We have both online and face-to-face -face training that we offer. The way that we reach numerous audiences and remote audiences around Africa is that we opt for multiple delivery training models. Our introduction to bioinformatics training course is done with a multiple delivery approach. We have online classrooms that register with us, but within that classroom we also have a teaching assistant and assistance administrator for on-site support. H3A Bionet is supporting H3A Africa research projects by helping them to analyse the data. We're providing tools and workflows for them to actually run the data. And then when they're finished analysing their data, they send it to us, we then map it to ontologies, harmonise it, and then we help them to submit it to the public repositories. We study the bacterial composition of the microbiota um, in African children. We're particularly interested in the respiratory microbiota. And we believe that the composition of that microbiota is key to maintaining respiratory health and lung health in African children. When we do microbiome studies, we generate huge quantities of sequence data, which need to go through well-validated and established pipelines. And H3O Bionites helped us set up those pipelines, help train our scientists in how to run those pipelines, um, and understand the outputs of those pipelines. 
My research focuses on mainly genomic variation in African population from a medical point of view. We, at the present time, study sickle cell disease. With H3 Bionet, we have uh, some training, uh, a collaboration specifically in bioinformatics and in, in computer science and in uh, population genetics. We hope to have a genetic risk model that will allow us, when a child is born with sickle cell disease, to adapt our intervention. We've managed to build a, a, a critical mass of bioinformatics on the continent. We're building a reference data set and an infrastructure as a, as a platform from which people can then do better science, better genomic medicine, and have the skills to do that. If African scientists get trained to analyse their own data, they are able to deliver precision medicine to their own local populations. That's where HDO Bionet has played a key role, taking that ownership of African data back to African scientists.